All right, hello, and welcome to episode four of Elixir Drops. I'm Doug, your host with the most, and I'm going to show you a little bit of Elixir in five-minute chunks. Today we're going to look at the with statement and the famous pipe operator. So let's get started. I've written a uh, simple little app here. Um, this is a user module that has these uh, functions on it. So you can imagine we want to create a user with params, save it to the DB with echo, uh, ecto. Um, we want to send an email with that awesome sent grid API, and we want to start a trial. So we might have something like um, a uh, manager folder of module or some, some sort of third party service to this that does all these things for a new user. So um, in Ruby and Python, you see something like this where uh, you have some sort of function that creates the user and then using that user sends them an email, starts their trial, and all these things kick off in a chain. So let's write this with Elixir pipes. So again, we can uh, have params and that'll be the first argument to our pipe. And we're gonna call create and this is how you look at pipes. The first argument here to this function is actually the value above the pipe operator. Uh, user create is gonna return a user. So we know that the next thing coming to our pipe is a user so we can send them an email and implicitly the uh, user is passed in right here. So this is kind of how pipes work. It's just a chain of this value being passed into here, being passed into here, and so on. And finally, we can start the trial with the user like so. So uh, to rewrite this guy, we can just do that. Uh, we can maybe, yeah, let's just get rid of it. Uh, and so that's how you would do pipes. And so let's go ahead and try it out. We can uh, go into this app I wrote here, start it up with IEX mix and uh, what was it called manager setup user and uh, I think I might have this already in my history here uh, I have Z shell running which is awesome so I can recursively search for that there it is so we call manager setup user with name and email we get user saved DB email sent trial started and the user object returned back to us awesome so there is a problem with this though, however. Let's say that the SendGrid API that we're counting on working failed and returned an error. If we were to call this here now, uh, of course we'd have to reload the SendGrid API, we'd get an error and the whole app would crash. Uh, no match of right-hand side value, right? This is because in our code here, send email failed, and so send email failed inside of SendGrid. This, this match, uh, here failed, it didn't match, it didn't return an okay tuple, in fact it returned an error tuple, and so this whole pipe chain collapsed. So um, while pipes are really useful and you'll want to use them a lot, if you're if you're ever using code that you're not sure about the result it could, and it could change, you'll need to write something a little bit different, and such as a with statement. So let's look at how to do that. Uh, so with is just like a case statement with uh, on steroids. <laughs> um, we can match on the functions that we're calling and keep going down the chain. So um, the first one, we expect a user to come back. And so we're gonna call this user create, or better yet, since this, this ecto is really just returning this user um, okay tuple, I'm gonna go ahead and move this over a little bit. We can just call it straight like that, so we don't even need to call user. And in fact, we can do that for the other ones as well. Uh, we get a message back from the next function that we call, and that is send email. So we'll say send grid, send the email, and I believe it takes an email. So rather than doing user email here, uh, what we can do is actually pattern match right here. I'm going to lower this a bit. Uh, email, email. Since we know that this key and value should be on this user object, we can pattern match on it directly here. And now we've got it, and we don't need to look for it inside of the user. Finally, we'll look at the next message that's coming back from our final function of trial start. And we wanna start with that user that we captured earlier. So this is how um, a case or a with statement works. You can pipe these functions or continue these functions together with commas and the result of them is put to the left. If they match, then you can capture values out of those results and use them. So uh, we can continue what we did before and push the messages to the screen. 
message one, message two, and uh, finally return our new user. So uh, this will just um, comment out for now. And if we did everything correctly, this should still work. So let's go ahead and kill the app, start it up again. And I'm gonna tab up to set up a user. And oh, it didn't work. However, uh, this is a better error than we had before. The app didn't crash, we turned an error. So implicitly, we'll get, if we don't match on one of these things, we'll get back what was returned in the uh, failed function. So sent grid here failed because it's returning an error. So let's fix that. Recompile sent grid. Now we call our function and works as before. User save the DB, email sent, and their trial has started. So uh, that's how pipes and um, K the with statement work in, El in Elixir. Hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, subscribe and like. I'll have more videos to come. Thanks for watching.